Okay, we're back here. We're gonna use some screws. Uh, apparently, somebody thought they needed my nails more than I did. Uh, well, but screws work just as good. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna down some both sides of this crack. We'll put some screws in it. You see how it sucked it in? Probably eighth of an inch just by doing that. Uh, Put your screws in you don't want to break the paper you just want it in enough to where your mud can fill it in if you break the paper as soon as it gets wet it's going to pop loose so put these screws in here Ooh. don't do that that hurts looks like there's a nail or something there i ain't getting one to go in scoot up just a hair or something or use that sheet rock. slapping the wall no more so all right you got it all screwed off there what we're gonna do is get our mud knife mud pan and bear with me because this is a new one so uh it's not broken into my hand yet we're gonna scrape all the loose stuff off Anything loose you want off of there. You don't want no air behind your mud. Air bubbles. Something like that. Okay. Let's see, uh, I think I pulled the sheetrock in any and felt our hump out. stud there. I'm going to look over just about 3 sixteenths of an inch, something like that. Yeah, not too much, but you'll still see it with an eggshell paint, the shadow in it when the light hits it and stuff. So what we're going to do is, we, I use a paper tape. I'm going to put mud on this first. I fill that hole full of mud, pack it in there. Okay. Pack it in. I'm gonna work it in them holes. Pack it in there so that there's no air behind it. Okay? Then I'm gonna cover the entire thing with mud real thick. Alright. Alright, as you can see, it's real thick through there. You can't see the paint through it or nothing like that. Take paper tape. Paper. I'm gonna put it on here like this. All right, I'm gonna take our knife. I'm gonna pull all the mud out from behind it. Not all of it. I'm gonna leave a little bit behind it. Keep it adhered to the wall. Get the air out of there. Squish that mud out. Okay. Uh, get off the trim work. Okay. Uh, go down both sides of it. Get all our lines out. Okay. 
All right, now that's paper taped. All right, now when that dries, it's actually where this crack is, it's gonna suck that tape up in there a little bit and it'll never crack once I get floated. Um, I've been doing it 19 years. Uh, if I do my cracks like this every time, I've yet to have one crack, you know, where I tape it. Now I have had to come back and had them crack to the side of it before. Uh, if it's in a major stress area when it's going down a road or something like that, or, you know, some of them don't have concrete piers underneath them. The house moves, especially in Louisiana, uh, swamp around there. House settles and, you know, creates stress right there. So it will crack beside it, but it won't crack here with the tape. Now we're going to let that dry a little bit and then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you all how I floated out. And we're going to get that hump out of there. 